हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ मिस धनश्री सुभाष पाटील स्टडिंग इन सेकंड लबी फार्मसी टुडे आय एम हिअर टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द टॉपिक पार्टिकल साईज अँड डिस्ट्रीब्युशन अँड मॅथड्स ऑफ पार्टिकल साईज अंडर द गायडन्स ऑफ डॉक्टर नितीन सी मोहिरे सर ॲज अ प्रोफेसर अँड प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ शिवाजीराव ॲस झोनले कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मसी असनगाव नाव गोईंग टुवर्ड्स द पॉईंट पार्टिकल साईज ॲज वी नो द डायमीटर ऑर वॉल्यूम ऑफ द ग्रेन्स इन अ सेडिमेंट ऑर सेडिमेंटरी रॉक द पार्टिकल साईज कॅन बी डिटमाइंड बाय सेव्हिंग बाय मेजरिंग द सेटलिंग वॅलोसिटी ऑर फॉर पेबल्स बॉल्डर्स अँड कॉबलेस बाय डायरेक्ट मेजरमेंट ऑफ इंडिव्हिज्युअल क्लास नाव युनिट ऑफ ए पार्टिकल साईज द पार्टिकल साईज इंडिकेट्स हाव स्मॉल ऑर बिग अ पार्टिकल इज द युनिट इज युजली इन मिलीमीटर मायक्रोमीटर ऑर नॅनोमीटर नाव हिअर आर सम ऑफ द एक्झाम्पल्स ऑफ पार्टिकल साईज डस्ट ऑर मिस्ट फर्स्ट पॉइंट फर्स्ट वन इज ब्रेकर एअर इट्स ॲव्हरेज पार्टिकल डायमीटर इज इन मायक्रॉन्स दॅट इज वन पॉईंट झिरो मायक्रॉन दॅन सेकंड वन इज माईन एअर झिरो पॉईंट नाईन मायक्रॉन थर्ड वन इज कोल ड्रिलिंग वन पॉईंट झिरो मायक्रॉन कोल लोडिंग झिरो पॉईंट एट मायक्रॉन Now here are some of the methods which are used for determining the particle size they are given below first one is optical microscopy second one is electron microscopy third one is sieving method fourth one is sedimentation method fifth one is coulter counter method now the point mean particle size volume per particle size equals the diameter of the sphere that has the same volume as a given particle here is a formula of mean particle size that is average mean particle size is equal to sum of all particle sizes to the number of particles now the point is particle size distribution its definition is given below a collection of particles having existence of varying size and shape therefore it is necessary necessary to know not only the size of particle in the sample but also the number of particles of each size present in the sample this is called as particle size distribution that is psd the particle size distribution of a powder or granular material or particles dispersed in fluid is a list of values or a mathematical functions that defines the relative amount typically by mass of particles present according to size of particles into the psd that is then called a grain size distribution now particle size distribution can be expressed by two methods first one is frequency distribution curve then second one is cumulative di- frequency distribution curve now going towards a point frequency distribution curve when the number of particles lying with a certain size range is plotted against the mean particle size then frequency distribution curve is obtained number frequency distribution curve is obtained when number of particles is plotted against number of against mean particle size now weight frequency distribution curve is obtained when the weight of particles is plotted against the mean particle size here is a graph which gives curve of frequency distribution second one is second method cumulative frequency distribution curve in statistic a cumulative frequency is defined as the total of frequencies that are distributed over different class intervals it means that the data and the total is represented in the form of a table in which the frequencies are distributed according to the class interval here is a graph which shows the cumulative frequency graph now the reference that is this all information is taken from kd tripathi book and carewell pharma notes thank you